What is the difference between a businessman and an entrepreneur? A businessman focuses on numbers, profit, cash flow, deliverables, KPIs, turnover, bottom line. While an entrepreneur focuses on creative marketing, new ideas, building a team, connecting to people, sharing a message you should strive to be both here are some examples of incredible and famous entrepreneurs that were also excellent businessmen. Thomas Edison We all know Edison for his inventions. He had over 1,000 patents in the US, everything from printing telegraphs, typing wheels, telephones, cameras, phonographs and famously, the light bulb. However Edison is less known for his acute business sense. Long before Edison began building the electrical infrastructure of the United States, he sold services to other companies in something now known as research and development. Edison's companies eventually combined. His businesses of lighting, transportation, industrial products and more, into one company called General Electric. Now, GE is the only original Dow-listed company from 1907 that's still in existence, 113 years later this is the power of having businessman traits, and entrepreneurial traits as well. Henry Ford Henry Ford was a classic businessman. You may think he invented the Ford Motor, but in fact he was the inventor of mass production. At the time, only the wealthy could afford motor cars, as they were called, and Ford wanted to cater to the average American. It was his businessman mindset that allowed him to calculate the numbers of mass production and figure out that if he made cars in bulk, using a production line, then he could lower the cost enough to allow the average person to afford a car. Ford's entrepreneurial traits followed, with his progressive work policies. He was one of the first big companies to change their work policy to a 40-hour week within five working days, without changing wages. Now this work week has become the norm, and cars are everywhere. Henry Ford is a classic example of the perfect balance between businessman and entrepreneur. Sam Walton I'll end with one of my favorite businessman entrepreneurs. Sam Walton cleverly built warehouses between his Walmart stores, which fractionally saved on shipping. This businessman thinking allowed him to lower his costs, and pass this saving on to the consumer. Jeff Basso of Amazon learned this trick from Sam Walton, and we all know how that turned out. The entrepreneur in Sam Walton decided that profits weren't beneficial to him, and instead he wanted to innovate and create the best experience for the customer. He lowered costs, becoming the best in the discount store business, passed all the savings onto the consumer. He constantly innovated with store layouts and sale tactics to get people to buy more on the way out of the store. He was famously arrested for snooping around a Brazilian superstore. After being bailed out by his family, he told them he was measuring the distances between shelves, so he could better perfect his own stores. Sam Walton balanced between constantly learning, focusing on the customer, and perfectly managing cash flow and profits. This is the balance between entrepreneur and businessman. In conclusion if you want to be a business owner, you'll need entrepreneurial traits. And if you want to be an entrepreneur, you'll need businessman traits. They overlap in so many ways, and the best thing to do is to learn how to do both. Entrepreneurs take more risks and try new things, while businessmen are risk-averse and like to focus on what currently works. A strong balance between the two is where the magic is made. The best entrepreneurs are usually the best businessmen, and the best businessmen are usually the best entrepreneurs. Most of the people have a misconception that the terms businessman and entrepreneur carry the same meaning due to which they use them interchangeably, I won't say that they are wrong, in the long run, an entrepreneur becomes a business, but there is a difference. Even the terms will sound same for a layman, but there is a fine line amidst the two. A businessman walks on the defined path, but an entrepreneur believes in making his own path, which becomes a guideline for other businessmen. In this article, we will help you know the difference between businessman and entrepreneur. Businessman, a person who is engaged in carrying out any activity, related to commercial and industrial purposes is known as businessman. He sets up his business as a new entrant in the market as for the existing business. When it comes to originality of ideas, most of the businessmen go for a business which is highly in demand or which can make huge profits for them irrespective of uniqueness. 
A businessman faces tough competition because there are hundreds of rivals already existing in the market undertaking the same business. Although the risk factor is low because he walks on a path that is already tested by the rivals so the chances of failure are relatively low. The main objective of a businessman of conducting the economic activities is to generate revenue by employing the human, financial and intellectual resources. By virtue of this, customers are treated as the king of business by the businessman. Entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is a person who conceives a unique idea or concept to start an enterprise and brings it into reality. He is the person who bears risks and uncertainties of the business. The venture established by the entrepreneur is known as startup company, which is formed for the very first time regarding the idea, innovation or business process. They are the ones who lead the market always no matter how many competitors will come later, but their position will remain untouched. In economics, the entrepreneur is considered as the most important factor of production, which assembles and mobilizes the other three factors of production i. e. land, labor and capital. In the long run, these entrepreneurs become a businessman,